It's about you. Okay? Now, stockmarketfunding.com. When we put that low in, that MACD, that three-minute MACD, hit right here. It went from 9.1 to second MACD bar, which is these blue bars there. The second reading went to 9.4. It was going higher. Watch the third three-minute bar. It went to 1.0. Watch the next three-minute bar. It went to 1.19. And it kept climbing higher, higher, and higher on the three-minute. And on the three-minute MACD bar, we're going higher and higher and higher. And you could take a look here that the CCI peaked and it started to drop, but that MACD was going higher. The next bar even went higher. And that means that we eventually hit a peak, but the dollar price movement peaked on the 15 minute MACD. It was 4.9 and it dropped. And as soon as it started to drop there, that meant that this had peaked. And you want to know when to sell into it. And there's the opening bell, the blue bars right here, all the readings that I'm showing you. And we had a nice run in that MACD. And we went higher, because we did. And it was a nice gap you can see how they go higher. That's a 15 minute. Here's your three minute. So here's your three minute. Okay. And that percent DS kept going higher, Peter, didn't it? CCI was minus 32 when it got positive. And as it kept going higher and higher, everything was peaking together. That would keep you in the trade, wouldn't it? And that was just in the first half an hour, people that all of this happened on the opening bell. And it's, well, my pro trading students know how to let a winner run because they're being taught right now that they just wouldn't pull the trigger emotionally. Oh, boy, I got a profit, then let me sell it. No, you don't sell until it peaks. And everything was working. Percent DS was climbing, MACD was climbing, CCI was climbing. And then we peaked, we peaked. And we sold off four dollars in here, and that then this is the fifth three minute. We peaked on a three minute at two two seventeen, and it dropped. And when it started to drop there, and we started to drop on the other ones, that was the time to sell. And you know, having both charts on the opening bell, fifteen thirty forty five, you dropped four dollars right there, bam. And you wanted to learn to sell in the peak and buy again and sell again. And so I hope that you can see on the three minute MACD, right here on the MACD, the reading climbing, climbing, climbing. All of this is climbing. And in the new SMF Pro Trading platform, instead of you looking at numbers here, you're going to have them all put in a tachometer gauge like you have in your car. And the needle is going to go to the right. And as long as that needle and that gauge keeps going to the right, my SMF Pro traders are going to maximize their profits on our new SMF Pro Trading application that we are building. And we are building it so that anybody that comes to be an SMF Pro Trader will be able to have the clear clarity, meaning the vision and clarity and knowing when to be buying and selling and when to buy pullbacks and the relevancy of, of uh, the ratio momentum. So I'm not going to talk about that here right now. What this was all designed to do was we were going, and as long as we were going, and until we peaked and we started to drop using the 15-minute CCI, because the CCI over here peaked right there. Here you go. And basically, this was a nice reading all the way up. The stock has got a lot of momentum because the 15-minute MACD is still above the previous 15-minute bar where we had that $4 drop. So you're going to be a professional and you're going to perfect using this along with your other part of your trading application. This is going to be your charting application called the SMF Pro Trading Chart application. Then you're going to have your mathematical formulas on here and your trend ratios will be designed over here. 
and you're going to have it all very clear.